We have got so much gossip, you guys, on this week's show. I know, wait to tell you about him from over the road. Air next door. No, 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 also, <laughs> Valerie's on number three. They don't want to hear about that kind of gossip. They want to hear about Liverpool music news. They want to hear about gigs, events, celeb gossip, that kind of thing. That type of gossip. Well, lucky enough, we've got <laughs> tons of that type of gossip uh, as well. Two great musicians, up and coming stars of the city, play for us live, and one monster. Albert Dock themed and Dirty Dancing themed competition. Yeah, a bit of Dirty Dancing going on there. This is your show for your city with him, our Norris, and me, Ellie Phillips. This is The Guide on Bay TV Liverpool. Should we do it? Yes. Let's do it. <laughs> Welcome to the guys, it's Jay and Ellie here on Bay TV, your one-stop shop to everything, event, music and celeb. It is, and I'm blue, da ba dee da ba da da What are you doing? Da -ba -da. Give the viewers a clue as to where we are this week. Oh, okay. I'm blue, da ba dee can you get it? It's not yeah. Goodison Park, no. da ba dee it's not the Mersey. <laughs> no, 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 my shirt gives it away as well. Yes, it does. Blue bar at the Albert Dock. How yes, clever am I? You are very clever, but if it's you, shouldn't you be singing, I'm Ginge, da ba dee da ba -da. <laughs> <laughs> that would be number one. It, it would. Uh, so Blue Bar at the Albert Dock. Love this place. One of the really first bars nice. in the Albert Dock. This is one of my first watering holes, I've got to say. Oh um, but we've got a big prize to give away with Blue Bar and the Empire Theatre. Dirty dancing tickets up the glass. Yeah, talking of dirty dancing, where were you this week, mister? We were meant to be at a dancing masterclass of dirty dancing at the Empire Theatre and someone didn't show up. They were going to teach us the big lift and everything. To be fair, busy, busy, really mm -hmm. busy. We mm -hmm. chock a busy, so chock busy. a few days. Mm -hmm. yeah, I haven't stopped. I had to learn the lyrics to April 65 and so blue difficult. for a start. Such a hard song to learn. I think someone will start. But anyway, do not worry. We still have dirty dancing action on the show. I chat to the producer and head choreographer of the musical version that's coming to the Empire Theatre this April. And as well, he is massive in Liverpool. Big music name Dominic Dunn performs live for us at the end of the show. Looking forward to that one. Yeah, but first, uh, let's get our first act on right now. Uh, these guys performed at Lymph last year and they've just performed Top and Blue at Goodison Park this Saturday uh, for the Derby. The massive gig. Um, these guys are amazing. Check them out. They are Shamona. Take it away. Do you want to have a home? Do you want to see how 
could have those Do you want to stay awake? Poor man can give and take All the things for the rich man's sake 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 Okay, well in guys, Shimona. How good is the band's name, by the way? Shimona. Oh, thanks very it's much. It's amazing. Where's <laughs> that from, lads? Did that come from a close friend of ours. We were looking for a name when we started out. And it was just something that we used to say in the group of friends. Like, yeah. if something was good, you'd say, oh, that's Shimona, that. Or if something was bad, oh, what a load of Shimona. So we need, we need people to start <laughs> saying that then. Yeah, oh, start Shimona, that, everyone. Oh, that, start yeah, saying. all over Liverpool. The lids need to be saying <laughs> Shimona. Uh, what song was that? That was brilliant. It's from the EP Just Like You, isn't it? Yeah, that's the opening track from our EP. That's um, Rich Man's Safe, that track. So um, that's just about, you know, working for the man and getting stuck in your dead end right. job. And it's a working class song, really, I suppose. Yeah. So it, I can relate to that a little bit. <laughs> uh, the EP's fantastic. Just like you, a song that, that viewers have got to go and find because it, it's a beautiful tune, that one as well, isn't it? Thanks very much. There's a, a video on YouTube, isn't there, guys? Yeah. Um, Joe Campbell from CCTV, he, uh, he's done the video for us, so yeah. go and check it out. It's on, Great. it's on YouTube. Last week was a massive week for you three. Uh, these lads played the derby at Goodison. How was that? That must have been, that was massive. It's as big as it gets, really, yeah. in Liverpool. I mean, I go as far as to say it's the biggest game in world football myself, mm. but I mean to play the derby outside Goodison, we're all you know we're season ticket holders yeah. ourselves, so it doesn't get much bigger. I mean the buzz before it, the atmosphere, everyone was raring to what go. What were you more nervous for, the match or playing the gig first? Uh, oh, the match all day long, <laughs> the match all day long. <laughs> But listen, suspense, we've got to finish it there, but lots online with, with Shimona. Please come back again. Uh, busy year ahead, so keep your eyes on what is going on with these lads. Thanks for Thanks playing, lads. Uh, from one extreme to another now. Now, I didn't want to get into lingerie and all this dirty ticket business, so we sent Ellie Phillips down to the Epstein Theatre instead uh, to learn a bit of burlesque. Get on to this. So if you're over 18 and you fancy doing something a little bit different this Valentine's Day, then get yourself down to the Epstein Theatre for Millie Dollar's Martini Lounge. To tell us a bit more about this unusual type of event to go to is the founder, Millie Dollar. Millie, thank you so much for joining us. Tell us a bit thank more about what is the Martini Lounge? So the Martini Lounge is a show that I started back in, must be 2006, it's a long 2007, time, yeah. quite a while ago. So um, back then there wasn't really much in the way of burlesque and cabaret, especially not in a large sort of theatre show. Mm -hmm. um, so I wanted to bring back a lot of the classic styles of burlesque, vaudeville, cabaret, and bring them to the stage of my hometown in Liverpool. So, and what, for those who don't know, what is burlesque, if you could describe well, it? But that can be many things. It's quite a broad <laughs> spectrum okay. of things. So um, it's mainly known these days as sort of Dita Von Teese and uh, Catherine Delish and all these kind of new wave American yeah. burlesque performers. But um, it started with, like way back when in sort of the late 1800s and then we had um, people like Gypsy Rose Lee, Sally Rand, all these amazing household names yeah. at the time. Um, so burlesque was always kind of, weirdly enough, sort of family fun Friend, and friendly yeah. so <laughs> but this one is this is 18 this plus is 18 plus <laughs> yes but um it has been known that in the past i have done shows where there have been younger people in the audience and okay. it always goes down a bit so in this particular <laughs> production because you do more than one a year don't you, you do a few every yes. time in liverpool but well, um, this one's specific isn't it? each one's slightly different yeah so um we have uh, a mix of performers that we have at every show. So we have our resident performers, so there's myself, um, there's Edmure, who's a Chinese pole boylesque artist. Okay. And Fred Bear, who is our singing, dancing, bearing cabaret. Fabulous. <laughs> so he created Bearlesque many years ago. Nice. So, yeah, nice bit of pole work. <laughs> and so, therefore, burlesque isn't just for women, then. Men can no. get involved too. Um, there is a large scene of boylesque as well. So, oh, there's cool. boylesque festivals and competitions, uh, mainly down in London. We had the Tournament of Teas with boylesque artists competing to win the title. I did not realise there's such a huge world about <laughs> yeah, this. And now we're here at the Epstein Theatre and you do put these productions on four times a year, more or less. So yeah, if people so can't make it years. to the Valentine's special here, though they can see it some other times throughout yeah, the year. So after the Valentine's special, we'll be having a, a hen night special on the 27th of June, which nice. will actually be part of my hen, my own hen That's night. That's so cool. Yeah. That's <laughs> the most unique hen I've ever heard of. Yes, hello. <laughs> so um, I'm celebrating in style with any other hen who wants to come and join me. Amazing. Well, we'll definitely look out for that. Thank yeah. you so much for chatting to us and good luck with the show. Thank you very much. See you again soon. 
Check you out, you little minx or la burlesque. I don't know. Was that like Fifty Shades of Grey? That was like. <laughs> yeah, but if you'd have gone there, Jay, it'd have been more Fifty Shades of Jay. You wouldn't have gone every colour of the oh, world. Did you see what she had on? I did. Amazing. And she said that there's that thing boy less. So I think next time we should send you. I think I'll pass on that. <laughs> Anything that involves poles or anything like that, not for me. I'll pass on that one. Uh, but looking forward to it. Martini Lounge yeah. coming Valentine's night this Saturday at the Epstein Theatre. Uh, more dirty dancing coming up on the show. Actual dirty dancing, the musical. Uh, and as well, the super talented Dominic Dunn is on the way straight after this. Welcome back to The Guide with Jay and Ellie here on Bay TV, your show for your city. And you can't have missed it in the city. It is a Valentine's weekend this weekend. And there's so much going on in Liverpool that we thought we'd give you a bit of a roundup. Of course, Saturday night it's all happening, whether you are all loved up uh, or whether you're just a bit of a single Pringle like me who wants to go out with your mates and have some fun. Tons going on on Saturday night for Valentine's Yeah, Day. there is. You fancy a bit romantic, a bit classical. And then the Royal Liverpool Philharmonic Orchestra have got their Valentine's Day concert on at the Liverpool Phil with local girl Catherine Rudge singing soprano, that'll be a good one. But if it's more folk you fancy than classical, then get yourself to the Atkinson in Southport for the Love Folk Festival. It's the first time I've ever done it. It's running all day from midday right through till the evening. That sounds ace, yeah, love really that. Uh, as well, if you fancy some more music, mm -hmm. Basilica. Yeah. Uh, it's coming, obviously, the festival is coming very soon in summer. Uh, but they've got a special Basilica night at Kitchen 24. This sounds mm -hmm. amazing. Samba dancing, Rio de Janeiro, <laughs> all that, some DJs. It's going to be a class, classic night. Yeah. Make sure you check that out. Uh, but as well, on the other hand, something very different. This is different. Gandhi's Circus yeah. is in town. That's so cool. Uh, of Speak Hall Road, they've got a heated open top, a live action packed, fun filled night, it's really good uh, a human circus. I wonder if they still do human cannonballs. Well, you should go down and see if they can uh, test you out on it. <laughs> good, I'd love to do that. Amazing. And if you do like the weird and the wonderful, don't forget, we had it on the show earlier. Millie Dollar's uh, Martini Lounge is on for one night only at the Epstein Theatre. But if it's more cars and cabaret you like, uh, then you don't want to miss Top Gear Live at the Echo Arena. And they've got a Stiglan banana at the oh, Echo Arena. Okay. Yeah, cool. remember the Stig? That's they've amazing. got a Stiglan. See, I don't like Jeremy Clarkson, but I'll go uh, and see the Stiglan banana. Yeah, That'd be not. great. Uh, but tons more as well. We've got loads of great theatre happening at the moment. Mm -hmm. We've had both casts on the show, Educating Rita. I went to see this last week. Definitely go and check it out if you can. Uh, it's on at the Playhouse until the end of the month. And of course, a great comedy at the Royal Court. John McCardle and Pauline are starring in Canoeing for Beginners. Check yeah. that out for a giggle. And talking of comedy, you can go to the Comedy Cellar at the Magnet and Harden. Or you can come right here, well, underneath here, to Baby Blue. They've got Liverpool Comedy Central here. And they're doing a Valentine's package, which includes dinner here at the lovely Blue Bar, followed by the show. Great downstairs. I love yeah, comedy, good. comedy seller here at Baby Blue, so check that out if you can. Big prize to give away with Blue Bar and Dirty Dancing coming up. We'll give you details for your Twitter comp this week. But right now, talking of Dirty Dancing, this is what happened when uh, our Ellie, otherwise known as, uh, what is it? Don't put baby in the corner. <laughs> yeah. This is what happened when Ellie got put in the corner yes, at Dirty Dancing the Musical. On the 17th of August 1987, Dirty Dancing the film was released in New York to overnight success and acclaim. Following that, it went on to become the fastest selling West End musical of all time. And now they're on a national tour of the UK coming to the Liverpool Empire Theatre in April. So we thought we'd go behind the scenes to find out exactly how they make it happen. <laughs> So I am joined by El Supremo, producer of the musical, uh, Carl Sadow. Sadow? Sadow. 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 So Carl, you, it's your job to translate um, what was a screen production onto stage. How difficult is that for you to do? Extremely difficult. <laughs> In fact, people would think that it's simple. You know, the film's already been made, so you just put the film on stage. Yeah. But in fact, that's actually impossible. Okay. You can't just put a movie on stage. Okay. You have to make a hundred decisions for every scene about how you're actually going to convey it and what you're going to do. Because, of course, it's very difficult to put a lake on stage. Yeah, I can yeah, imagine. And a, and a field on stage. <laughs> yeah, and just maybe we get the log on stage, but even that's difficult. <laughs> so, you know, all those things that you have to do, um, you have to make decisions to recreate them so you feel you're there in your field you know that's the whole thing about the theater yeah. it's live yeah. so you get to be there with Johnny and baby when they fall in love yeah. it's special you're not just watching a movie and so, as a choreographer was this a production that you really wanted to get your hands on because <laughs> I mean, it's dirty dancing do you know what I mean everyone it's everyone's dream I, I, I mean 
if you'd have asked me that when I was asked to, I was asked to do, do it, it, I would have said no. I would have been. Oh, really? Yeah, because because you know I come from uh, the ballet world and the contemporary world. I, I, I come from a very different background, okay. and maybe maybe that's why you know Carl was very keen on me to do it because I do have a different slant. Yeah. So and initially I watched the movie and I was kind of hmm, this is not. I don't, know if this is, I don't know if this is really my <laughs> thing, and then, but but then once you get, you know, I get you get into it, it's it's it really is fantastic, it's a, and it's a unique style of of moving and dancing, and certainly when the movie was made, the the dancing in that film, which is what I think makes it still exciting today, it is definitely got its own movement. If yeah. you did some movement and didn't play any music, I think you'd go, oh, that's probably that's from, what it that's is. from dirty dancing. And talking about yeah. that, we've got to ask you, can you teach me a few moves? From yeah, yeah, of course I can. Very simple. I've got yeah, heels on, yeah, yeah. and I, I've not danced in many, many a year. Very so good. Just something very shall we, simple. Shall we, shall we just, shall we do a dip? A dip. A dip. So you this come, sounds dangerous. So no, you stand with your leg there. That one? Give, give me this leg. Oh God. <laughs> give me this one. I'm, I'm going to hold you very securely. <laughs> yeah. You can hold on to me as well. And all you do is you just you bend this knee this and, and lean and lean back. And lean back. There you go. And all the way gone. I've got you. Like, <laughs> I've got you. Yeah. <laughs> there you go. And that's yeah. a, that's a dip. Maybe with a year's practice, if you come back on the next round, I'll make put myself in for an audition. <laughs> that's it. That's a dip. There you go. You're welcome. You're welcome. Ellie Phillips there doing some dirty dancing. It's coming to the Empire Theatre in April. I'm looking forward to that. Uh, also looking forward to our next act performing. He's with us again. He was on our launch show. Dominic Dunn. How's the hair? How's the hairspray going? You stunk us out last time. And I always stunk out here as well. <laughs> um, yeah, you know, you've got to keep it in shape, haven't you? Yeah, can't yeah. keep the barnards in shape. Yeah. <laughs> Good on you. Listen, big, big year for you last year. Your name is everywhere in Liverpool in the music industry. Tell us some of your highlights of last year, Dom. The highlights? Well, um, you know, we did the highlights for us personally. I mean, I've started getting with the bands and that now, and we did all the major festivals. And I mean, we played them with the bands, and it was amazing. We did like Threshold Farm, Feast Astral Coast. Um, and we're moving into the full band setup now, mm. so that, they, the highlights for me were short and all that. Yeah, else. it's been busy for you, but Detail now are your band, so you've, you've got that together. Dominic yeah, yeah, Dunn, yeah. Detail, like all the D's going on it's here. It's what we want, it's yeah. what we want, yeah, yeah. Um, I mean, it's, it's one of them. I mean, they made me back on bands, and it got to the point where we were just like, no, we need to be a band, so we just, we're going for it. I mean, we're yeah. taking some time out, so coming back in April with a brand new single, which I'll do for you in a bit. What's that, what's that called? It's Bury Your Head. Bury Your Head, looking forward to that. Uh, just briefly, Threshold Festival coming up. Big oh, festival. You know it's, 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 I just think this year is going to be bigger than it's ever going to be. And we, we, I mean, we've got someone from Clean Bands or something. Wow. I mean, you know, I, can't, I just can't wait. Um, and I can't wait to play. It's going to be fantastic, fantastic weekend for everyone. Yeah. And lots more this year, I'm sure. Yeah. Dom Dunn, thanks for coming in. Nice one, nice one for uh, Thanks for the hairspray in there. And uh, we'll chat to you soon, OK? Nice Dominic one. Dunn, everyone performing for us next. I absolutely love that, the hairspray. I can't wait to hear him perform at the end of the do show. Do not light any matches. <laughs> Whatever know. you do, the other top will go up in flames. <laughs> yes, hairspray, my hairspray. Like London's burning. <laughs> <laughs> we don't want to do that. Uh, looking forward to seeing Dom perform in just a second. Listen, we've got a special for you next week. We are officially supporting the Statue for Epi campaign. The man that made the Beatles, he needs a statue. Yes, he does. So we are bringing you the show from the Epstein Theatre. Yeah, and we've got a special guest on the show next week who is coming to the Epstein Theatre to be in Panto there this Easter. Richie Newell from Five is going to be on the show with us. And we're going to have some great music from Paul Wilkes too. I will be slam dunking my funk <gasps> to Richie Neville okay. from Five. Can't wait for that. <laughs> uh, as well, a big bloom big balloon <laughs> launch <laughs> even <laughs> to celebrate the launch of Liverpool Loves Festival oh, for Valentine's That would be nice. Talking about Valentine's Day, have you got any plans? Busy, chocker busy. Okay. Day, 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 really oh, busy. Oh, give us yeah. a lowdown then. I'm going for tea, my mum's at five. Okay. Uh, I'm going for a cup and a bicky at my nan's about half six. Uh -huh. Pint with my dad, <laughs> seven o'clock. Great film on Channel 4 at 10. <laughs> Busy day, really busy <laughs> really day. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Whatever you guys have got planned for Valentine's Day, whether it's like his or not, uh, we really do hope you ha that you have a good one. And don't forget, um, if you fancy coming here to Blue, where well, you can win a meal for two, and then you can also win tickets to go and see Dirty Dancing at the Empire Theatre in April. All you've got to do is get on Twitter, find us at BayTV underscore Liverpool, and retweet our competition tweets. Oh. That is a big, big prize at BayTV underscore Liverpool, hashtag the guide for that. Uh, we will see you next time. Right now, hairspray wearer of the year. <laughs> 2015 Dominic Dunn is going to perform his latest mm. single with the band Detail and we'll see you next Thursday 8.30pm Happy Valentine's Day Oh, you too love High hole, dig yourself a hole Bury our head down deep down low High hole, dig yourself a hole Bury our head down deep down low High hole, dig yourself a hole Bury our head down down low, high hole, dig yourself a hole, bury your head down deep, down low. She's the 
death of me Take my heart, you'll see There's a darkness in her eyes She's full of sin There's a beast in me Take my soul, you'll see And as she whispers in my ear It comes alive And I'm just trying To make it to the end And I'm just trying Live another day high ho Take yourself a hold Bury your head down deep down low High ho Take yourself a hold Bury your head down deep down low High ho Take yourself a hold Bury your head down deep down low High ho Take yourself a hold Bury your head down deep down low Oh, it cannot be Take my eyes, you'll see There's a man in black who watches as I sleep He's the father, he's the son He's been watching as I run Now he's come down here to take me far away I'm just trying to make it to the end And I'm just trying Live another day high ho Dig yourself a hole Bury your head down deep down low High ho Dig yourself a hole Bury your head down deep down low High ho Dig yourself a hole Bury your head down deep down low High ho Dig yourself a hole Bury your head down deep down low Yourself a hole, bury your head down deep down low. I hold, dig yourself a hole, bury your head down deep down low. I hold, dig yourself a hole, bury your head down deep down low. I hold, dig yourself a hole, bury your head down deep down low. I hold, dig yourself a hole, bury your head down deep down low. I hold, dig yourself a hole, bury your head down deep down low. I hold. Bury your head down high ho Bury your head down high ho Dig yourself a hole Bury your head down deep down low High ho Dig yourself a hole